Hey, so this is the ICS 211 online class. And for the uh, student engagement and community building, I use the discussion and private messages. And um, so we have the class discussions and then the questions from students. And for class discussions, uh, when we first start the class off, um, so I have them do a self-introduction. And um, let's see, I just call it Who Am I is, is the name of it. But um, for the self-introduction, uh, if we go over here to the, let's see, for the assignments. So I just have them talk about their name, kind of things where they grew up, fun, uh, languages, jobs, uh, kind of what they want to do in their future, and other comments. So it just starts us all off uh, on a good foot. Uh, I think it helps to know other students uh, that are in your class and helps to um, just feel like, you know, it's not, not just you in this class. Um, and then for the, the uh, on the syllabus, I have it, um, what, for the discussion and private messaging uh, posting. So it's required that they do at least uh, five, five postings. And I kind of leave it up to the students for the topics. Uh, I noticed in the past that uh, when I required a certain number of times to post a discussion board, they would post to the discussion board and do no more. Um, and then also, uh, whatever questions they have, they can ask me as well as the other students in the class. Um, so that, that's, that's for the community building, basically the uh, discussion and private messages which I kind of leave uh, free form pretty much for this class. Okay, so for the student communication with me and with other students, uh, on my syllabus I have for the communication that all communication will, is through Lao Lima. Uh, as well as the UH uh, email, and I don't accept uh, email from other accounts. Uh, then I, I have pretty uh, detailed uh, instructions on how to turn in their assignments. And uh, for their assignments, I have them do it through the email, and part of that is it helps me to give them uh, very quick feedback. So if they turn in the assignment before the deadline, uh, I can grade it and give them feedback, and then if they want to, uh, if they're not satisfied with their grade um, or there's improvements to be made, they have time to make improvements with it. And uh, even for late assignments, <clears throat> it's uh, two points off out of 10. So that's about, what, 20% off. Um, but they can still turn in uh, assignments late and even get feedback on those. Um, and then as for the uh, communication um, with other students, I do tell them, okay, if you have questions on assignments, uh, specific questions, they can email me. But if they have um, more general uh, questions, then they can post to the discussion board here. For the learning activities and strategies, uh, basically, my strategy is to give them several different ways to learn the material and then um, pretty much uh, one way to demonstrate the material, which is to write programs. So this, this is a pro programming class. Um, we are learning the, the theory with programming, and this, the theory for this class is data structures, how to set up your data in a, in a computer program. But really the only way to get better at programming and learn programming is to write lots of programs. So I have the students basically do that, write two programs a, a week. And um, we do have the, uh, we have the podcasts. Okay, so we, um, I have a podcast so they can watch that. Uh, the podcasts are based on the lecture slides, so I have lecture slides for the students. Uh, we also have the uh, I have a textbook, um, what a hard copy textbook I guess you call it, uh, a traditional textbook. We have readings from that, and then I also have references to uh, two online textbooks, so uh, well, tutorials and an online textbook, <clears throat> and um, 
So that gives them a, another way uh, to, to learn the material. Then I also have the, um, you know, each, each, um, what, each, so twice a week I have two lessons, and then each lesson has, you know, say three or four, four or five example programs that I do go over in the slides and on the podcasts. So that gives them, what, three or four ways to, to mask the material. And then the assignments, I uh, have pretty uh, detailed instructions. This is probably an early assignment, but um, so I have pretty detailed instructions, uh, input and output files, and also uh, example um, input and output for each assignment. Uh, so they have plenty of details uh, about how to do the assignment and what is expected about the assignment. So for the learning outcomes and assessment for this course, uh, I structured the course uh, with all the SLOs as um, internal links to the web page. So for each SLO, you just click on the link and then you'll see at the top uh, what the SLO is about. And then I just, I, so I've been teaching this class maybe 10, 20 times. Um, so I just, I made my own materials. So within each SLO, uh, the order of the how this is presented is is I don't know just the way I think it should be presented. It's a little bit different than any textbook that I've seen. So I group the assignments and the lectures uh, based on these SLOs, though. And to assess their understanding, we uh, have the assignments, which I was uh, talking about earlier. Uh, again, so it's a programming class. The only way you can really Learn to program is the program. Only way to, way to assess the programs is to, to look at their programs that they write. So we keep building, 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 and then it's twice a week. They're getting constant feedback. The students are getting constant feedback uh, as to the quality of their assignments and how well they're understanding the, understanding the material. And um, so when we get towards the end, uh, after the SLOs, then I leave time uh, towards the end of the semester to do the final project. So the final project pretty much um, brings together all the concepts that they learned and then puts it together in one large programming assignment. So the, the, these other programming assignments, um, you know, they're, they're a lot smaller since they're just uh, it's twice a week. Um, there are a few assignments that are concept-based and not program-based. But then the final project gives the students another chance to demonstrate that they can uh, write a larger program and also put all the concepts that they learned together. And then I can assess uh, how well they learned uh, all the SLOs overall in that project. So for uh, learner, learner support, and uh, I guess you might call it usability, um, so in the syllabus, I do spell out uh, exactly what kind of software that the students need to use. And then also that we'll be using Lao Lima and your UH email. And it is a 200 level ICS uh, programming class. So uh, I think it's somewhat implied that students have a pretty good um, handle on technology at this point. Um, However, I do have uh, explicit instructions on how to um, set up the software. So on the, the uh, first lecture, actually, uh, I show them how to set up the, um, the, the compiler for the uh, Java programming languages, programming language, and then also the um, IDE, so the programming environment that we use, the software for that. Which is from uh, which was made in Alabama. Um, any rate, so let's see. So then, also for the the students, um, I try to have a, a very organized uh, website. And so again, I kind of showed y'all before the SLOs uh, link up or internal links to the website, so they can jump around pretty easily. And then I just lay it out as a table. I mean, you have the, the dates in here, what topic, our reading, our slides, our assignments, due dates, and then examples. You know, you can just you go straight across you know, every, every week and look, about, uh, look at what's due and when it's due and um, the corresponding lecture notes as well, uh, PowerPoint slides. 
Um, I did try another um, structure for my website uh, previously, and students seem to like this format better. Uh, they seem to like the organization better for this, and I think it's just easier to to navigate and find yourself around here with the uh, schedule page. And then Lalima, I keep it pretty simple with the uh, discussions and resources, uh, grade book, um, and syllabus uh, links in here, and also to the podcast. Hello.